Good morning. Happy Monday. Welcome to Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Jeremy Rabe. And I'm Kelly Smith. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's tip top of the week. Starting yes. it off right. I am praying this week goes by as fast as it did last week. Last week, I seriously, I blinked and the week was gone. It was the fastest week of my life. It was so fast. Well, I wasn't here, so there you go. It was so <laughs> fast. Was it so fast? I'm literally, I blinked and it was gone. Well, I hope it goes just as fast this week, too. I pray. Yes. That's <laughs> because every week that goes by, it's a week closer to spring. I know. I'm so, I'm finding myself thinking, okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Yeah. Well, the weekend, okay, so I was in Tulsa for the weekend. Was the weekend nice here, too? Yes. Yeah, I had a great, I mean, it was yeah. nice. I was yeah. outside a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Tulsa's usually about 10 degrees warmer, so it was super nice there. We celebrated all the February birthdays and all the March birthdays. We have like five or six people to celebrate, so we were, we were eating cake, and uh, it was just a lot of fun. Speaking of eating cake, mm -hmm. You know how hard it is to eat healthy on the show? Yes, I do know. It is so hard to I eat know, healthy. Because we, we like to. We cook on Tuesdays now. Yes. We cook on Thursdays. Right. But Today we, we're eating pie. I know. Well, I'm not complaining about that. I no, I'm not complaining. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> but, I mean, you're right. I um, can't wait to do that. That's going to be good. But usually we cook something pretty healthy. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> well, Ish. But here's the thing. I think maybe you're talking about the carb factor, too. Well, just in, in general, too, like mm -hmm. I have a certain dairy. Everybody has their own dietary restrictions, right. which we respect around right. here. Right, exactly. But it's very hard because it smells so good, and then you're like, ah, forget about it. Just eat it. <laughs> like, well, forget we're those usually, dietary we're restrictions. Pretty darn hungry. Yeah, and today we're going to be eating three pies from the From the Heart contest oh. for the Waitress the Musical. Yes. And then tomorrow we have one more pie tomorrow because okay. she couldn't make it today. All right. And I can't. I, I love pie so much. I do too. Much. And I saw the first one back there. Um, I believe it's Elaine, and it looked to be a cherry pie. I mean, I just peeked through, so I'm not sure. I printed off the recipes over there, so I have it there to make sure we can read the ingredients. And I didn't yeah. really look through it yet. But. And she knows what she's doing. It was, you know, the laced. It looks mm. beautiful. I cannot. Oh, the wait. lattice. Lattice. That's yes, what I meant. The lattice. Not yeah. lettuce, but lattice. Not lettuce. Not La lace. Laced. Not l it's just right. lattice. It's Monday. <laughs> That's for it sure. is Monday. But anyway, it's going to be a great day. And I actually thought about that before I came into work this morning. I'm like, I'm going to get to eat pie today yes. for oh, breakfast. But, yeah. I mean, pie is a pretty good breakfast. Yeah. I want to make sure I get this right because I, I thought I hadn't even talked to our producer, Jake. Yes, I can say it now because it's next Sunday. Guess what? What? Dishing It is going to be airing oh, on right. KOZL mm -hmm. at 5 p.m. on Sundays. So if you miss us on Thursdays, the very special episode of Dishing It yes. is going to be every single Sunday at 5 p.m. on KOZL. It's just that little part of our show because we thought the people on the weekends might want to make those recipes for dinner. Absolutely. And I'm going to tell you, if you want to learn how to cook, you need to tune in to Jeremy and I. <laughs> right? Can I tell you, we need to bring That's back... That's kind of a joke. It's a total joke. Total guys. joke, guys. You what? know what we need to do? Uh, we need to bring the Chapmans on because their show is air airing on Sunday night. The Chapmans right. can cook with us why don't they and just, sing with why us. Why don't they just... Serenade us. They could serenade us. Yes. And I'll be honest, I learned, I actually did learn a lot from Lyra last week. Oh, yeah. She is like, she lit literally is a Martha Stewart. Like, she yes. knows so much about cooking. Yes. I was just like, she was telling me things I had no idea. Yeah, Lyra's a great cook. So we'll sure. need to bring her yeah. back. And maybe we can have people on that school us because I, we I don't think know it's what a we're great doing. idea. We just, just have to have the access, but we, yes. we need to learn. We need all to right. learn. We are going to. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's, it's me. <laughs> Sorry, Thanks. It's That's all right. Joe, how's it looking today on this Monday, headline wise? I noticed there's a, lot, there's a lack of bacon on the show. What? You know, have you guys made bacon on the show? Yes. Yeah. Not when I'm around. Uh, Joe! This uh, Oxford professor is trying to help you not crave bacon so much by looking at this uh, bacon patch. Okay. You know how you have nicotine patch to quit <laughs> smoking? Yeah. This person actually has made a bacon patch to keep you from craving bacon. It is scratch and sniff. So you scratch that and take a whiff anytime you crave bacon because uh, this research is saying that smelling these foods can envision you eating it and satisfy your cravings. I disagree okay. wholeheartedly with that, but I'm not an Oxford professor. So this person's made this in London and it's like a patch, you wear it like a nicotine patch and then you just scratch. Sniff. Come on, show it and to us. You've you got one on right there, Joe. I, I know you do. Not even in America yet. There you go. Oh, not really? even in America. Yeah, I'm not that fancy. So, huh. how do you like that? What are your thoughts on this? And what's wrong with craving bacon and eating it? I didn't know. It's for it. vegans. It's, oh. They've made it for people that are trying to become oh, vegan. Oh, I was thinking, what's the purpose More than anything of this? else. Yes. Yeah. I totally disagree because when I smell food, it makes me hungry. Yeah. That's but why I'm, I'm not hungry, hungry right? sometimes when we're cooking. Right. And then we, 
make it, and the smells are yeah. so amazing that I'm like, I want to eat That's it. How it That's works. what I would think. Yeah. Nyjah is the one person I know in our newsroom over here, Nyjah McDonald, who says that she can look and smell and be okay with it. She is one of those types. Oh, really? So, hmm. yeah. I'm a little curious about it, though. I'm not sure. Have so. you ever smelled freshly baking bread? Oh, ho, ho. All I want to do is eat the whole best. loaf. And then you're not yeah. supposed to eat, yeah. eat a piece? That oh, boy. Best. I yes. know. No. All right. Next up, we're talking about what's happening in a New York City bodega. An interesting take on Supermarket Sweep. Take a listen. OT, if you get this question right, you have five seconds to pick up whatever you want. All right. 10 times 10 minus 50. 50. 5, 4, now my cat, 3, 2. He's getting this uh, whole stand right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, how do you like? He went for the cat first. Do you notice that? The guy uh -huh. started counting and he said, Not my cat. You can't take my cat. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, Delhi in the Bronx is offering this some simple math equations in exchange for five seconds of getting whatever you want right now. Well, look, it kind of confuses you because you just, what in the world am I going to get? You got to make a choice really quick. Yeah, that's, that's the beauty of the supermarket sweep. He says that it's uh, to help low-income community members save for higher priority expenses, like rent and utilities and things. Oh, I love it. By that. getting some free stuff. And, of course, it's gone a bit viral on some social media. I bet. You know? Do I've they do that often? Like uh, they do now, yes, oh. because people are going on TikTok and Twitter and all that and seeing, oh, we got to see the newest video, see if the guy got the problem right or wrong. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, right. I wouldn't do well. Interesting. I, I got that problem right. I was very oh, impressed with myself. But did you see the look on his face? Yeah. Five minutes, go. Go. Yeah. Five seconds. Oh, five seconds. seconds. <laughs> I'm sorry, go. Yeah, because it's like, it's like five seconds. Yeah. If they yeah. ever asked me, like, nine divided by three with the subdivision of this <laughs> with just, pie and you'll square just get, root. And you'll just get your wallet out and say, I'll just like, pay. I don't need the free stuff. Here you go. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> Thank you, Joe. We appreciate yeah, it. No problem.